I'm reminded of a, a slogan or two I saw some students carrying once. One said, uh, all wars are civil wars because all men are brothers. Right. And another one said, there is no they. Right, exactly. Now in our culture, we've been trained for individual differences to stand out. So you look at each person, immediately it is brighter, dumber, older, younger, richer, poorer, and we make all these dimensional dis distinctions, put them in categories and treat them that way. None of us can break through our own models of the way the game goes enough to do the things necessary to bring about that realization. They are so committed to the fact that this society is the way it is, and that's all you can expect. And we get so that we only see others as separate from ourselves in the ways in which they're separate. And one of the dramatic characteristics of the experience is being with another person and suddenly seeing the ways in which they are like you, not different from you. And experiencing the fact, well, yes, indeed, we are brothers in the true sense of that which is essence in you and which is essence in me is indeed one. Now, it's an identity that I've taken on. I wasn't born Richard Alpert. I was just born as a human being. And then I learned this whole business of who I am and whether I'm good or bad or achieving or not. All that's learned along the way. Uh, you see all those learned things separate. So you start to have this dissociative experience of where all that you become is awareness is a point of awareness, that's all that's left. There is no they, there's no other. It is all one.